Hi everyone, this is Theo from parkablocks.com. Welcome to another book review. Today I'm going to review The Art of Makoto Shinkai, A Sky Longing for Memories. This is one of the most beautiful animation background art books I've seen. I've actually reviewed the Japanese edition a few years ago that was published in 2008. But recently, the publisher Vertical Comics, they have done a huge fan service by translating that Japanese book into English and it is certainly worth translating because more people should see this book. I mean the art is just stunning. The only difference between this book and the Japanese edition is the lack of a dust jacket. So this is just a normal paperback. The Japanese book it has a dust jacket. Now the paper is the low gloss type of paper which is the type of paper I like. A Sky Longing for Memories, the art of Makoto Shinkai is the art book that collects the animation background art for three of his films that would be 5 centimeters per second. The plays promised in our early days and voices from a distant star. His latest two movies, The Garden of Words and Your Name, those two movies are not included in this book. I've watched those three anime movies many years ago and ca cannot really remember what the stories were about but one thing that I cannot forget is the beautiful background art. The commentary provided talks about the design aspect of each scene and it's really insightful to read about how um, they think when they plan the scene. Now that all the text has been translated to English, I can now understand the amount of work they that actually goes into creating uh, such paintings. The attention to details is amazing. You'll be able to find out that all the background art are actually well researched and tediously put together. So um, something like this for example, or maybe let me flip to a better example. A scene like this would actually include several layers. These are actually digitally painted. For a long time, I actually thought that they were painted with um, traditional media, but these are all actually digitally painted. Now, all these are actually layers of colors upon layers of colors. So some scenes are the results of several photo reference used together with color, and then they are painted over. There's design done for the trains that were featured, all these train stations, all the signboard, all these words that you see there. These are all individually painted. So it takes a really extraordinary amount of effort to create an animation film like this, especially one that features background art that is so beautiful. Now there's something about Japanese anime art that makes them look so fine. The level of detail in the background, I think it makes a huge difference to the visual aesthetic. This is unlike those um, anime series like Naruto, Full Metal Alchemist. Their backgrounds are a bit simpler, but this is a movie so people they tend to notice the details because because each scene actually stays on the screen for a longer time so the details they need to be there every piece of art in this book is perfectly composed the color scheme is carefully chosen and I think it's um, really all inspiring just to see how the research how the technique how the art how it all comes together to create uh, scenes like this Now Makoto Shinkai is, not, uh, is of course not the only artist uh, that paints all these backgrounds. It would be impossible for him to do it alone. So they have a lot of other artists who paint backgrounds as well. Let's take a look at how many pages there are in this book. So because the book collects three uh, films, there are a lot of art as you probably can tell. The book has over, I think, 170 pages. Yup. The size is slightly larger than 85. I wish it was larger because, I mean, some of these 
paintings they are so good that you can actually frame them up on a wall so this is the part where Makoto Shinkai talks about how he creates his art and they are all digitally painted so he has some step-by-step -step, uh, instructions that tell you how he goes about creating the scenes how he adds the characters into the scene and here's an interview with Makoto Shinkai and these are the other background artists that worked on the three films I find myself going back to flip through the pages quite often and it's because it's really inspiring the art is beautiful and there is a lot to learn from all the artworks that are inside so I would highly recommend this it doesn't matter even if you haven't watched his films before because I mean good art is good art so that's all for today's video review if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section i will post a link to my text review as well as links to where you can find this book online thanks for watching see you in the next video bye